Hey everybody, St. Isaacs here. I wanted to do a quick little video update to let everyone know what's been going on. As a lot of you know, in the middle of May, I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. It's called ALL for short, so we'll go with that because it's easier to say and remember. Since then, I've been here in the hospital in Birmingham undergoing various treatments, chemotherapy, bone marrow biopsies, everything. It's been a rough road, and it's going to get even rougher, but I am confident that my family and myself, we will get through all of this together. All of the love and support that I've received since being in the hospital has been overwhelming. There's been many days where it's brought tears to my eyes, and I can't thank you all enough for all of your love, kind words, support, everything. I love you all so very much. My mom has even been staying with us up here to help with our children, while Kim has been here with me at the hospital pretty much the entire time. On Sundays, my mom has even been going to church with our family, and that just warms my heart in ways I never thought possible. I've also been able to reconnect with a lot of friends that I haven't spoken to in years, and if all of this is a silver lining to having this cancer, I will take it gladly. Many have also reached out with financial support, and I wanted to say thank you to all of you that have done that. A friend of ours from church started a GoFundMe page, and the support there has been incredible. Another friend of mine actually started a live stream charity event, and the support there that was garnered, phenomenal once again. Thank you again so much to everybody. Now this battle is long and it is barely getting started. My doctor has told me it's unlikely I'll be able to return to work this year at all. And since it's just now June, it means I've got a long time to go. This is very disheartening and I do understand the reasoning, but it still puts a lot of strain on my mind. After being discharged from the hospital, I'm going to be returning here two, maybe three times a week to undergo outpatient chemotherapy. And if it's anywhere near what I've been facing here in the hospital, it really takes a lot out of you. I will be taking this time to create new content for my YouTube and Twitch channels. Some of you may not know that's what I've been doing as a little bit of a hobby lately. I create tw uh, YouTube videos, garnered a lot around video games, and many of you who know me know I love video games. And I have been live streaming on Twitch, a lot of Minecraft, and I've actually been building a pretty large scale replica of the White House this last several months. If you haven't checked it out already, check me out on Twitch and YouTube and you'll see a lot of this. And if there's some way that I can turn the YouTube and Twitch gaming into some kind of an income, all of you know I love video games. And if that can help support my family, I'm all in. Now, if you still wish to support myself and my family, there are a lot of ways to do so. First, there is the GoFundMe and the PayPal links. I'm mentioning PayPal mainly because the fees associated with PayPal are a lot less for both the donor and for the recipient. If you do wish to give, please use either one of those links. They will be in this description. That being said, please, feel no obligation to give or donate or anything. That's not what this video is about. There are tons of other ways that you could actually help myself and my family. I mentioned the Twitch and YouTube links down below. Click on those, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on Twitch, hang out with me in a live stream, watch some of the YouTube videos. All of those are fantastic ways to help support the content creation and my family. I have been able to monetize my Twitch account so far, so I do get a little bit of extra money from there. The YouTube channel is fairly new, so it has not been monetized yet, but definitely check it out and let me know what you think of some of my videos. I'm always in for some good constructive criticism. When you join me on Twitch, just come in and expect to have a good time and some laughs. We're always having fun there. And like I said, I just started the YouTube page. 
I have been working on a Minecraft roleplay series called Maya Artis. I'm three episodes in and planned on having the fourth episode in the, by the end of May. Obviously, for reasons that didn't work out too well. But check it out. Enjoy it. Drop a like, comment, subscribe like I said. I will continue that roleplay series once I'm discharged from the hospital and I can work on it more at home. And having fun with that entire series, I myself am doing over a dozen different voices with the help of some computer software, and it's a riot to watch, guys. You've got you to gotta check it out. Finally, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook. I'm going to be honest, I'm on Twitter more than I am on Facebook nowadays. Leave some positive words, send some good vibes, say a prayer. Whatever you believe will help, I truly believe will help as well. This battle is pretty much as much mental as it is physical. I've had to cope with the idea that I'm in my mid-30s and just got diagnosed with cancer. Was not an easy pill to swallow, but I am confident that my family and I will get through this. And all the positive words and love I receive from all of you is what's going to help me do it. Thank you so much to everybody that watched this, to everyone that has reached out in any kind of support capacity. I love you all from the very bottom of my heart. Thank you again, and God bless.